Hello everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simply delicious in my kitchen. Today I'm going to walk you through a recipe called Fiesta style pork chops and rice. You just need some pork chops, Mexican flavors, some other ingredients that are really simple to put together. We're going to bake this in the oven and I promise you it's going to be delicious. You ready? Let's go ahead and put this one together. First thing we're going to do is take our pork chops. Now I am using pork center cut chops. They're about half to three quarter inch thick. We're going to take a large skillet. We're going to place it over medium high heat. We're going to add in, I've got two tablespoons of cooking oil in the bottom of my skillet. We're going to season our pork chops with some salt right across the top of them. I'm going to be doing these in two batches. I've got eight chops here. So I'm going to season the first four with some salt, some pepper, Now I have some taco seasoning. This is my homemade blend. I'll link it down below in the description box or you can find it in one of my videos on YouTube called homemade taco seasoning. Just sprinkle it on top of the chops. Okay, what we're going to do is put these into the pan upside down so that the seasoning side is on the bottom of the pan and then we're going to season the top part of them. It's going to start smelling really good. We're going to cook these for about three to four minutes. You want to keep an eye on the back side of them. We don't want to burn them. We're going to go ahead now Season with some salt on the top, some pepper, some taco seasoning. There we go. Oh, that's looking really good. It's got a nice crust on it, which is what we're looking for. We're going to give these another two minutes, and then we're going to take them out of the pan, place them on a plate, and then we're going to cook the other four. These are going to look really good in the dish. Yeah, perfect. Let's pull these out. Those look really good. That taco seasoning gives it a nice color. I'm going to turn off the burner for a minute. All right, I've got a yellow onion. We're going to dice that up. Take off the ends. Take off that outer layer. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to make slices three quarters of the way through the onion. Stand it up. We're going to drag the knife through it three quarters of the way through, one slice. And then just pull your knife through. It'll make perfect dices. All right, we're going to turn our burner back on using the same pot that has that delicious flavors 
from the pork chops in it. And then we're going to add the onions. We're doing that because we don't want this deliciousness right here to go away. We want it in the dish, so we're going to let the onions absorb it. I'm going to cook these down for one minute. Alright, go ahead and turn off the burner. Now what we're going to do is make that delicious sauce that the rice is going to absorb. And this is going to make a delicious bake. First thing to those cooked onions, we're going to add two cups of chicken broth. We're going to add three tablespoons of taco seasoning, which equals one packet of taco seasoning. Now this is my homemade blend. You can find this on my blog, katherinesplates.com. Just look up taco seasoning. Or I have a video on it, which I will link down below in the description box. One 10 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes and green chilies. pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper. We're going to add the rice now. I use a white long grain rice and it's a basmati. We're going to add one cup to the mixture here. Now I'm using a quarter cup so I'm going to go into my container here four times. Now you want to make sure your rice is uncooked. Stir this all together. I'm going to bring my baking dish over. We're going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. I like to use avocado oil. That's the only thing in here. <laughs> this will keep the rice and the pork chops from sticking to our dish. We're going to bring our pork chops over. We're going to submerge them into that sauce. Those juices, we're going to go right into those pork chops and make them very tender. We're going to take some corn. We're still making this fiesta. Drained half a can. All right, I'm going to take a couple sides of bell pepper. Dice that up. Now you can use any of the colors that you want. You can use the red, the yellow, the orange, or all of them. All right, we're going to sprinkle this on top of our bake. Give it some more fiesta feel to it. Okay, we're going to cover our baking dish tightly with foil. I'm going to cover it a few times. We want to make sure it steams really good in there to get that rice nice and cooked and the pork chops nice and tender. We're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. I would check it around the 50 minute time frame and see if the rice is nice and tender and the pork chops are pork tender also. Okay, I'll be back. We've got to finish this off. 
Okay, it took about 20 extra minutes to fully cook the rice and the pork chops. What we're gonna do now is add about one cup of shredded cheese. Now, I'm using a Colby Monterey Jack cheese blend. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that all on top of the casserole. We're gonna put this back in the oven for another 15 minutes till the cheese is melted nice and golden brown. Okay, does that not look yummy? I just pulled this out of the oven. I'm gonna let this rest for just a few minutes and then plate it up. Okay, look at this plate. Woo, fiesta style. Right there, there's my bite. Mmm. That bite of pork is delicious. All those flavors, mmm, mmm, mmm. That cheese, let's try that rice. Mm. That's the perfect bite right there. Piece of pork chop with that rice and all of that goodness. Oh my goodness. It's not as spicy as you think, you guys. I hope you give this a try. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. If you're looking for a new pork chop dish, this one will fit the bill. My husband's got his tortillas ready. <laughs> He's going to be slicing up pork and putting it in a tortilla. All right, y'all comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.